Hello and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back and welcome to episode 5 of... In the last episode, we came back from the guardhouse and uh, we unlocked some rooms with the helmet key, uh, got the magnum, and we also got the battery. Uh, in this episode, like I said in the last episode, we are going to be doing uh, the cave system. So uh, let's grab our drinks, let's grab our snacks, and uh, let's do this. Okay, so I think we already, yeah, so we already have ourselves set up real nice. So we're going to drop this off, don't need this. Um, yeah, this can just go all the way down here. Because uh, the only room we need left to unlock <clears throat> is, um, I think it's the master bedroom. And all that gives us is uh, a green herb, and it's, um, I think it's the changing room, but you need to beat the game to be able to get in there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Well, might as well change the grenade launcher here. Alrighty. So I don't know if this episode is going to be pretty long or not. Uh, I know that the, um, what do you call it, the cave system isn't all that long. So uh, today's episode might not be a very long video. I'm probably going to say maybe, maybe 20 minutes tops, maybe, I'm going to guess. Oh, shh. We need the knife. And the reason why I say we need the knife uh, it's because when we fight Black Tiger, or I should say when that fight starts, because we're not even going to be fighting him, um, <coughs> basically there's a wall that's, or sorry, a door that's covered in webs. Uh, you have to cut it down. So basically, uh, what you can do is if you just bring the knife with you, and it actually works much easier in this game than it does like in, uh, Remake or, uh, <coughs> or the director's cut because in this game there's no automatic aiming which is kind of nice um okay let's just drop we'll drop these off to shotgun shells um and there we go okay that's what i was saying um so there's no automatic lock-on uh, when you aim at enemies in this game, so you have to manually aim. Um, which kind of works to our advantage in that sense. Because um, you won't be, when you press the aim button, you won't automatically lock on to the spider. Um, which is a good thing, because you just want to get in and get out, because it's poisonous. And I don't want to say the fight's hard, because it's not really hard, but why waste time on a fight that we don't need to? Um, alright, so it sounds like that there is a hunter out here. Oh, jeez. Okay, whatever. Let's just run. Because we never have to come here again anyway. So, why waste ammo on him? Alrighty. And I'm saving the, uh, magnum for the tyrant at the end. I was going to use it in the caves, but I'm like, mm, not a good idea, I don't think. Um... Uh, because you don't get a lot of magnum in, uh, in this game. Alright, so we have to go... We have to take the long way. We have to go all the way this way. Um, and then take the elevator down. Put in the battery. And then take the elevator up. Uh, and then use the crank to turn the water off. And then come back down.
so let's just walk. Oh shit! All right. I run. No oh, man. Oh, I'm surprised it actually worked that way. Oh god, get in there. There we go. Because usually, <coughs> usually if you're on some sort of angle, uh, sometimes it won't let you do it. You have to be like straight on facing it. to use this and uh, yeah, just raise the water Now, I don't know how many grenade rounds it actually takes to kill a hunter. So this is going to be uh, interesting, to say the least. Why are you not going down? There we go. slowly walk around. Oh god, I don't know why that dog always gets mad. I don't understand why. Okay, um... Is there a... No. Oh, um... I can't remember. Can we use? There's X going on. Can we use this or no? No. Okay. That's fine. So hopefully I didn't die, or I don't die, because I didn't bring any um, ink ribbons with me. Oh well, shit happens. That's interesting. I thought Barry was supposed to come and help you. That's weird. Maybe because I didn't wait for him to grab the rope, maybe he doesn't come and help me here. I know if you do certain things or if you don't do certain things, it, it does uh, affect certain things in the game. Um, but I'm not exactly sure what does what. Uh, just like when you get the grenade launcher from uh, Forest Body uh, outside, uh, Barry can accompany you in that room. <clears throat> um, again, I'm not too sure how to activate that and make that uh, scene happen. Where am I going? Am I going the right way? It's easy to get turned around down here. Yeah, see, now I'm, I'm back at the same room again. Um, oh, it's this door I'm supposed to go through. Yeah, this is the right one. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? What? Oh no, I'm alone. But why are you asking? Listen, the stars are going to be finished soon. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ah! Oh, 
Rico! Who killed him, I wonder? I wonder who it was. Um, if Barry does come and assist you in this area, um, he will, uh, he'll, or sorry, when Jill says, is anyone with you? And then she says, yeah, and then Barry will come, uh, and they'll both talk and stuff. No. How do I get the hexagonal thing? I can't remember. Oh, it's here. I keep getting this part kind of mixed up with the remake one. Um, because in the remake, you get um, the crank by his body. And then um, when you walk around this corner, uh, if I remember correctly, a hunter will actually um, come through the door. And uh, you'll have to fight it. I always keep forgetting that that's only in the remake that that happens. Oh god. Okay, one. Two. Okay, so it takes two shots. Not too bad, not too bad. Kind of similar to uh, the acid rounds. Okay, so we're going to take the safe route and we're going to go through this door. I think there's one in this area too. Yeah. We can oh god. Run. Woo. Whenever I hear it screams like that, you know, it's, it always stresses me out. Because um, I don't know if I've stated this in uh, previous <coughs> episodes or any other Resident Evil videos. I probably have in my previous Resident Evil videos. Um, but the hunters in, like, original one, remake one, uh, three... I'm not sure... Actually, I think they can in Remake 3 as well, but it's less of a chance. Um, they can instant kill you. Even if you're at full green health, uh, they have, attack, have a certain attack where they can actually uh, dive and they slash your head off. Uh, in this game, it takes your head off. Um, in Remake 1, uh, they slash your throat, you fall down. I think in the original 3 it takes your head off and in Remake 3 again you know it uh, slashes your throat okay so let's go um oh right okay so might as well get put the knife on now because the next room is, um, what do you call it? Uh, Black Tiger. Fire rounds. Nice. Which we don't need them anyway. So we're not going to grab them because we don't need them. Because they only work on the, um, on the spiders. I don't think they work on anything else. Oh fuck, I didn't know there was a hunter there. Um, so we gotta go back and forth through this area, so... Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, I guess you're gonna run away. Nope, get out. Ah. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, these guys are... Hunters are stressful, man. And then they dumb them down and... Uh, Revelation is one. Alright, so we're gonna be like, nope. Nope. Wait for him to turn around. Oh shit. Uh, we're caution. Go through the door. Oh, thank God. Okay. So that was good. Um, oh, we're on danger. I am very glad that uh, we did that. So if we go back this way, we're lucky if we go back this way. 
Um, this is the save room. So we're going to save it up here. Woo we We got lucky. Look at that. We don't even need to touch our uh, healing stash, our uh, health stash in the box. Cool. We don't need that blue herb because that only does up our uh, poison. <clears throat> All right. Um. Whoops. Okay, so I can put the knife away now. Uh, where'd the handgun go? Oh, right. I can mix these two together now. Not that I need the handgun. Now I got a gap. I hate having a gap. Oh, but I'm not going to subject you guys to me, you know, um, rearranging and, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, okay. So it turns out I am a dum dum. So I forgot the uh, eagle medal all the way back at the mansion. Uh, when I said that the only room left in the mansion uh, was the master bedroom, uh, apparently that was a lie. I forgot. Um, the door in the hallway just by the back door where you leave, um, that's where you get the metal eagle. Um, which I will show you that, uh, just now. A few minutes earlier. And now that we're back to present time, you can see that I actually have the uh, Eagle Medal and the Magnum. Um, okay. Um, well, apparently not. There we go. Um, so we're going to drop the Magnum Memo off. Um, where is it? Six. We're going to have 12 now, which is pretty good. Um, I think we're good. Yeah, I don't think we need anything else. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, let's go. So down this way, I think. Um, okay, so this way is going to take us to the lab. And this way is going to take us to where we need to go. And I think we're almost near the end of this episode already. I didn't think this episode was going to be too long. this this is the modisk i'm so glad that i actually did that all right so now we got two um this is what just a map of the place you find a map of the underground all right i don't know why they give you the map of the underground now when this is pretty much the end of it okay I think that's far enough. Pretty sure. You know what I just realized? These two... Wait a minute, Lion and Eagle. We have the Lion medal in Resident Evil 2 Remake. We have the... Because these two are supposed to be in Resident Evil 2 as well. Um, and we use them in the sewers. Um, we have the Lion one in Remake, too. Um, yeah, the eagle one's not in it. I guess they replaced it with the maiden statue, uh, the maiden one, because <coughs> all the medallions uh, in Resident Evil 2, as in like, the original Resident Evil 2, you got uh, these two here, the lion and the eagle one, which get you into the lab, uh, or sorry, get you to the cable car so you can take the lab in the sewers. Um, and in the main hall of the police station, you have the unicorn medal. Um, but in the remake, there's the unicorn one, and we got the wolf one. Actually, no, sorry. <coughs> sorry, the wolf. I'm wrong. It's a lion and a... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, a maiden. So these aren't even in the original. Uh, or sorry, the remake of two. Huh. It's weird the little things that you think about. Then when they changed a lot. I'm not complaining too, too much, to be honest. Um, because 2, Resident Evil 2 Remake was pretty good. As much criticism and complaining I do. Uh, remake 2 was, was pretty good, I'm not going to lie. 
Um, yes, there were some things cut from it and whatever, but um, overall it was pretty good. But I guess this is the end of the episode because uh, basically what we're going to do um, or what would happen next is we would take these. <coughs> oh my god, I don't know why I'm coughing so much. Um, we would take these two um, and these two are going to get us into the lab. So they're going to get us to the uh, to the last episode of Resident Evil 1. Um, okay, so let's go in here. And we don't need this anymore. This can go all the way down here with the lighter. Um, the other Mr. Crank can go all the way down here too. I'm just throwing all the stuff that I don't need down here. Um... Modus number two goes there. Um, I don't know why these are here. When these should be right there. Actually, technically, this should go here. That should go there. And there we go. Um. I'm going to drop the grenade launcher right now. Um, because I don't... Oops. Where's shotgun rounds? Oh, duh. I have them in the inventory. I'm kind of dumb dumb. Um, okay, let's see here. We got knife, handgun, magnum, that, uh, that, and that. Okay, and that goes there. Alright, so let's do this a bit more. There we go. I'm very picky. I like to have my weapon and ammo top and my other things like this. And then my um, uh, health and items and stuff near the bottom. I'm kind of picky that way. But those of you who have followed the channel and followed me playing Resident Evil um, know I'm pretty picky when it comes to my inventory and also the item box. Um, so, yeah. Um, I guess that's it. I guess that is it. All right, so let's save this. Uh, save this up right here. Alright, so that is it for Resident Evil Episode 5. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you found a little bit of a laugh at uh, how, how I had to go all the way back to the mansion and I forgot the uh, the Doom Book 1. Yeah, that was a bit annoying. As I was recording when I did it, uh, I remembered, oh, you have to get Doom Book 2. And then I was kind of like, oh, shit, I did it again. Because <laughs> uh, when I originally, uh, actually... When I did the knife run of uh, Director's Cut, I did the same thing. I uh, got all the way here, and I was like, oh man, where's the Doom Book 1? And then I remembered, oh man, I gotta go all the way back, so I had to go all the way back and do that. Um, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Hopefully, uh, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you in the final episode of Resident Evil in the next one. I hope you all have a great day. Peace out.